Hi, hello, welcome to my channel, Never Stop Learning AI. Today's session, let's see what is evaluation. Before we start our session, I would recommend you to like, share and subscribe to my channel. As soon as you see the term evaluation, it takes you back to the project, AI project cycle. If we want to perform any AI project, any AI project has to travel through this AI project cycle. It has different stages, starting from problem scoping. And in the first stage of problem scoping, we get the clear idea of the problem. In our second stage, that is data acquisition, we try to acquire the required data that is required for our AI project. In our third stage, that is data exploration, we try to explore the collected data and we try to sort out, clean it and organize the data. Fourth stage, that is modeling, we try to make sure the best AI algorithm that can be used to design our AI model. The fifth stage is evaluation, which talks about testing the model, which also talks about the performance of the model. Now let's see what is evaluation. Evaluation is the process of understanding the reliability of any AI model based on the outputs by feeding the test data set into the model and comparing with actual answers. When we talk about evaluation, it is the process where actually we try to test our machine. So when we are training our machine, we try to use training data set. And when we are actually testing the model, the testing data set we would be using. Now, why is it not recommended to use training data set during your evaluation? This is because our model will always show accurate results if we are using the training data set in the evaluation stage. So we want the testing data set which is the new data set to be tested by our AI model. So then only we will get to know how our AI model is performing. Let us see one scenario where we come across how our AI model will work based on the prediction and reality. Imagine that you have come up with an AI based prediction model which has been deployed in a forest which is prone to forest fires. Now, the objective of the model is to predict whether the forest fire has broken out in the forest or not. So, our AI model has to detect whether there is forest fire or not in that environment. Now, to understand the efficiency of this model, we need to check if the predictions which it makes are correct or not. Thus, there exist two conditions which we need to ponder upon. One is the prediction and reality. We need to understand what is prediction and what is reality. So prediction is always the output of our AI model or our AI machine and reality is the real scenario in the forest when the prediction has been made. Let us see case one. In this picture, we can see there is forest fire in the picture. So our AI model predicted that there is a forest fire. So the prediction is yes. And in the real life scenario also, there is a forest fire. So in reality also, it is yes. Since prediction and reality are yes, so it would be true. And since the prediction is yes, it would be positive. So 
case one is talking about the true positive situation where the prediction and the reality both are in match. In our case two, is there a forest fire? If you see this picture, it is so pleasant and calm. You cannot see any fires around. Our AI machine predicted that there are no forest fires and in reality also we don't have any forest fires. Since prediction and reality are matching, we get true here and since the prediction is no, we get negative. So this is true negative situation. In case three, is there a forest fire? In the picture, we can clearly see there is no forest fire. But if you see our AI machine predicted that there is a forest fire and in reality, there is no forest fire. Since prediction and reality do not match, it is false. And since prediction is yes, it is positive. So false positive situation where prediction is yes and reality is no. Case four, is there a forest fire? In the picture, we can clearly see there is a forest fire. But our AI model predicted there is no forest fire. But in reality, if you see, yes, there is forest fire. But our model did not predict, which we can see here, prediction and reality do not match. So it is false. And because the prediction is no, it is false negative situation. So all these four scenarios are the four conditions of the confusion matrix. One is true positive, true negative, false positive, and false negative. So what is the confusion matrix? So it is the result of comparison between the prediction and reality that can be recorded is what we call the confusion matrix. So the confusion matrix allows us to understand the prediction results. All the four scenarios are placed and this is how the confusion matrix looks where we can see the prediction and reality, both are matching yes and yes, that is true positive. Prediction is yes, reality is no, that is false positive. Prediction is no, reality is yes, that is false negative. Prediction is no and reality is no, both are matching, so it is true negative because the prediction is no. So hope you understood clearly what is confusion matrix.